Today we will start with a completely new article that we have actually never had before and it is a nettle mixed with a little bit of viscose. An article is called uh, Remy and uh, maybe for those of you who know or have used um, hemp uh, in a yarn then uh, it will be quite similar to that but maybe actually even softer. Even though it is durable, it, uh, it is still soft. And this sample is uh, knitted on fifth class knitting machine and it goes just perfectly. Because sometimes for summer articles, it could be a little bit harder to knit, but uh, yeah, this, is, this one goes perfectly. You can definitely make it as in any kind of knitwear, including tops, some beach dresses, cardigans also, and um, super popular. It's also for interior, like uh, tablecloth, um, pillows. And if you like maybe more natural yarn, uh, also natural col colors then uh, you can definitely also check out our um, article that we have done before which is uh, burette silk mixed with a cotton and a little bit of linen as well and there are options with the sequins and without and it will be you know, also kind of similar to metal then we have multiple new options for a ribbon type of uh, yarns. So this one is cotton and also, as you can see, a little bit of lurex. ribbon type of cotton and this type of yarns they will uh, they will always look very interesting in a, in patterns but uh, so very often we have questions uh, like how do you think how much yarn is necessary for some exact uh, knitwear and here you can see the example why we 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 never say the exact amount because uh, it very depends on uh, the way you're planning to knit. For example, the uh, stitches amount is the same in this sample, but uh, you can see on the up it just simply knitted, and here in the pattern it takes uh, a little bit more yarn and it will be more heavier. And here we have uh, a little bit thinner uh, ribbon yarn and uh, this one is uh, from Lorpiano and here you can see a sample which is mixed with the white and the black and another thing that uh, maybe I want to make a little comment that uh, as you know then we always make sample and we always wash it and in this case, it's uh, super important because, as you know, for summer yarns, it could be that uh, it kind of the dark, darkest uh, color gives goes kind of a little bit away, and it could color the lighter one. But as you can see, in this case, it's uh, it looks just perfect. And also, uh, sailor style that is very popular at the moment and it is very very nice to knit it and also black color and another option for sailor pattern and this one is cotton mixed with the linen And 
white one, we have two options. One is with five millimeter sequence and the other one is without. Then we have beautiful new summer colors uh, for a cotton and silk mix. But the features will be a little bit more for cotton because it is 80% in the composition and silk will give it some shiny part. Also 100% mercerized cotton, as we have explained before, it will maybe look, look a little bit like a silk, but it will give a little bit more shape than a silk. And here we have two colors of 100% wool and these are more neon type colors but uh, why not for summer and here we have uh, quite a lot new colors of 90% uh, of extra fine very noble and 10% cashmere wool if you have watched our previous videos then you probably already know its features but uh, as a short reminder um, so it will be super soft because these 10% of cashmere wool it uh, like you will definitely feel that there is cashmere probably it feels even more than there is uh, cashmere wool than uh, merino wool and these are all knitted on the glass knitting machine. It's super easy to knit them. And this article is also quite popular for uh, for children knitwear, for both clothing and also, for example, blankets. And also for those uh, people who have a little bit more, maybe more sensitive skin and um, it could be tricky with the wool yarn, then uh, this this will be perfect. It won't be itchy. But uh, as you know, angor, angor is uh, super soft. Yeah, in this case, also the thickness is maybe uh, a little bit uh, bigger than uh, we have had before. But still, the softness is is really great. And um, as you can see, it will look perfect in a plain thing and also in a pattern. The good thing about this angle is that uh, since it has uh, this 10% of uh, marina wool, uh, it won't uh, give away its uh, fluff. It, uh, the softness is uh, still there, but it uh, won't be so, so fluffy that uh, this that it goes goes around all places and uh, it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to deal with it, but. Um, yeah.